So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover the lab that is exploring cost optimization for Google Cloud Kubernetes engine. So first of all click on start lab. Now you need to open cloud console incognito window. So if it asks for username and password refer to the lab instruction and in case it doesn't then just let it be. So now click on I understand. Now here you need to click on I agree and then agree and continue. So let me show you how you have to do. Now we have to activate cloud shell by clicking on that button. Now wait for the cloud shell to activate. Meanwhile in case you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe it and like the video. Now click on authorize. Now wait for the process to complete and then our cloud shell will be ready for executing the task. So finally our cloud shell session is live. Now move forward to the lab instruction and we will first of all get the credentials for the cluster. So as you can see it's fetched that is demo cluster. Now we have to increase the replicas value to 2. So finally the replicas have been scaled to 2. Now let's see check my progress for our task. So as you can see we got the score. Now we have to increase the pool. So first we need to increase the pool to 3. And in case it asks for yes continue then click on Y and then hit enter. Just click on Y and then hit enter. So wait for the cluster to update. Okay, it's done. Now we have to move forward to the lab instructions and start the next task. So let's go. So finally after we have scaled the cluster now we have to optimize it. So run this, basically it will create a larger pool and optimized version of the cluster. So wait for the cluster to create. Meanwhile do check the playlist for other skill badges and courses. So finally it's done. Now again we will move forward to the lab instruction and check the score and we will do other task also so let's move ahead so here you may face error if you will skip any steps so wait patiently and i will show you how to complete this task so first of all hit check my progress for this task now we need to wait we have to run this command first of all we need to run this command so now enter it here So make sure to copy carefully. So as you can see this was the command. Then only we have to create regional cluster otherwise we will face this error which you are seeing just above of it. So as you can see we have to click on Y and then run this command. So it's asking to continue. Then click on Y and then hit enter. Now finally it will take some time. this task has been done now we will move forward to the lab instruction and run the separate command 
so let's move ahead now we will create the regional cluster as we have completed this step so now let's move forward now copy this because this command will initiate and create a regional cluster so now copy and enter the here so finally wait for the cluster to cre create it sometimes it take 10 to 15 minutes you need to wait for it make sure a cloud shell doesn't go on slick So finally the regional cluster is now ready. Now what we have to do, we have to create a manifest file. So for that we need to move forward to the lab instruction. So let's go. Meanwhile in case you haven't liked the video, like it and do subscribe to the channel. Now enter here. So finally it's created. Now we have to apply it. So finally it has been applied. Now we have to create another file that is basically pod2 pod1 and pod2 file has been created now we won't get score because we haven't applied yet so for that once you have applied for pod2 also then you need to hit check my progress so as you can see we are getting some error so you need to run the command again if you face such error based on the lab comments so let me run for pod1 as you can see, I haven't run for port 1, only port 2 was run. So let me see. Oh, I have run both, but lab takes time to update the score. So you need to wait. In case if it still shows that, just rerun the again lab. Now we have to simulate the traffic, which will be. So for stimulating the traffic, run this. So basically once we stimulate the traffic basically it will generate some errors and for that we need to enable the logs so that error is being generated so as you can see like this the output will be generated on the cloud shell so run this wait a minute exit and then run this you for exiting that you need to click on type exit and then hit enter so now you need to copy the IP then click on ping and make sure to follow the same method I am doing you can use your personal notepad or online notepad so now run again and then just export the IP which you just copied and now hit enter so finally it started to generate traffics so now we have to create move forward to the next step that is we need to enable the flow logs and then we will run the query and create sync so now from here just type vpc and select the vpc networks open in new tab now wait for the vpc network to open So finally it's open now now just close the unwanted pop-up so now you need to close it close the cloud shell and now from here click on default now we have to search it to default by region that is 
your central one. Make sure to select the one which is mentioned on the task and region. So now from here, as you can see, just click on edit and it's not showing. So wait for some time. So basically click again network in case you are unable to find from here select the subnets and on the search box property just type the region and hit enter so it will display the main one so now we have to click on it and update the flow logs so open it and now here click on flow logs enabled on and then we have to save and then we will view the flow logs so now click on save it will take some time to update the network so basically we have to run some queries so now open it using a mouse wheel or just open cloud console so as you can see we need to do this task for the last task so for that wait for a moment now here here you need to click on actions and then click on create sync make sure the way i am doing do it same way otherwise you may face error so here for the sync name we have to create a new data set so first of all we need to create a new data set so wait for the page to get loaded now here enter the sync name next and after entering the sync name we need to name the data set so basically i made a mistake we have to name the sync and i named the data set so if you make such mistake just do like this and edit the file now here we have to click on bigquery data set and then click on create new bigquery data set and enter the name here so basically I'm doing step by step so that every one of you understand how to debug it unlike others who are doing just without any explanation so from here make sure to create and then select it and then next as you can see the filter was generated automatically because we followed the way lab was to be done so now here this is the main important part in which most of you may face it so on the search box either type bigquery in case it's not visible and open so now we will move forward to the main task so wait for it the bigquery is open now from here click on us flow flogs and then click on compute google now here you have to click on open in so copy it and we have to open query in new tab so right click over here and then open in new tab so finally a new tab will open wait for it so as you can see the tab has not been opened so if you face this error close the existing tabs and then click on open and open in new tab so finally as you can see it's updated so follow the way i'm doing now you have to enter it in between of the select and from so you have to enter now click on run and once it done we will be done with the lab so in case you haven't subscribed to the channel then like it and say it and subscribe it so as you can see wait a minute because it takes time to update so once we hit exit we have to update the port 2 file so first of all we need to update it and then delete the port and then we have to recreate the port So then we will hit check my progress we will get the score as you can see we got 95 so finally the pod has been deleted now wait 
so now wait for it to get deleted create the pod file so wait finally the pod has been created now we will hit check my progress and we will get the score without any issue so let's move forward to the lab instructions i know some videos are lengthy but you need to understand that we are here to learn and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you like the way do like it and subscribe to the channel thank you guys have a great day ahead